45-15 game. see in this game how we can use the answer process if there's elements of targeting then let's go for the targeting if the opportunity arises there's an element of the answer that we can use throughout any chess game so we're not forcing it it's whether it's available or not say like our initial targeting we can say start our plan from this area here so it's a good idea to have a plan this is our sketchy plan for now just open up the bishop one key thing is always a key thing but one key thing that um, throughout all the games I'm playing especially the longer games is the element of people moving fast I know I keep on saying it but it's so crucial that if you want to improve your game you have got to take your time and not feel pressured into doing taking your time there is this aspect of oh well if you're taking your time you must be using an engine or something you know and that puts pressure on people to move fast in a long play game me i play true i don't use any engines i use my own thought process i'm using my own strategy and planning and i like to take my time over my strategy planning etc so if people are going to say that you're using an engine just so that you move fast then that's you not playing true to yourself so i'll take as long as i want to take in a long play game even in shorter games, I will take my time. If I run out of time, I run out of time, then they win on time. But never feel pressurized into making a move just because you think maybe people are thinking you're using an engine. They're going to think that no matter what. Take your time. Pick out the right moves for yourself. Just going to bring my bishop here as we do usually. It can't be stressed enough. This far, there's way too much speed element going on. Watching the grandmasters, the international masters playing these fast, fast, exciting looking games. <clears throat> it doesn't help your game. Not if in a long game, it really genuinely doesn't. You don't have that time to have a look. And even when you listen to the grandmasters explaining this fast speed of games, there's a lot of if buts, maybes, you know, what if I did the what if, you know, not too sure, oh, I blundered this, blah, blah, blah yeah so that's not that's not good enough for somebody learning how to play chess it's going to be confusing to you because all you're hearing is well maybe i'll do it this way i'll just do it this way because maybe they'll do this or but maybe i i'm not too sure or i blundered it or you know so really take your time in your games and if you blunder in a longer game then you blunder but you can learn from it and develop as you're growing in your own chess game So now this opponent's now slowed down, so I don't know if they can hear me or not, but yep, that's the that's the idea, to really, really sit back and enjoy the game, try and pick out the best moves possible. It's not saying you're going to win them, but I enjoy these types of games, these longer games, a hundred times better than the fast, speedy, quick type uh, games. So they're picking out nice strong moves but at the same token is it strong for them yeah the, the pick up the pick to move it's attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece I'm going to capture the pawn because it's going to open up their king area so which where is did we say were the weak ones <laughs> i can't remember now. i think it was these two was it yeah okay so it actually captures with the knight not sure if that's um, a good thing really um, capture 
capture on his bishop sort of winning a tempo ish his pawn takes bishop can move it back queen is sat there so when your opponent's taken their time over the move oh that's nice then at least you know that they've put the fort into it and even if it's a bad move then at least they put the fort into it so it gives you a chance to take a look at the situation a little bit stronger something weird just happened then he's allowed his piece to be taken so we're a piece up now 1634 interesting so I believe his pawn should have just taken our knight here now it's weakened this square so our queen can come here to put a check or it can go there to put a check if it goes here it drops the pawn knight can take if the pawn takes we take the rook so yeah, it allows us to get in on this weak square. So that is probably a minor oversight of the opponent. Unless of course I'm missing something. But take time. Sit the drop, knight. He's not dropped, he's just dropped the king. So there might be something, might be something amiss because this square is obviously attackable by the queen. And it, oh no, it's not checkmate, is it? Well, you know, it's checkmate there. Ouch. Oh, that was a bit quick. Oh dear me, the opponent didn't move fast time, well they did for the first bit but then they started taking the time, oh that's a shame.